Greetings YouTube, the doctor is in, and today we're going to talk about the spell Shadow Blade. So, let's get into it. All right, so the Shadow Blade spell is a second level spell that is usable by sorcerers, warlocks, and wizards. We're giving it a B to start out with. Um, I see some good uses for this spell. It's it's one that is kind of rangery, kind of in the same vein as the ranger bonus light, bonus spells or the paladin bonus spells, but it is strictly for sorcerers, warlocks, and wizards or people who dip into those classes. Um, uh, it takes a bonus action to cast it, which is great, and it's only vulnerable and somatic at last for a minute. It is a spell that you would want to concentrate on. So you create a magic sword... It has the finesse, the light, and the throne property. So what exactly does that mean? Well, this means you can use your decks for attack and damage rolls. Um, it's easy to handle, which means you can fight with two weapons. So you can have another weapon in the other hand, but it can't be this one because you have to concentrate on this one. But you could have like a dagger in the other hand. And it has the throne property, which means you can throw it, but it is not a ranged weapon. So there's a big difference between a, a weapon, a melee weapon that has the throne property and a ranged weapon like a bow. Um, so there are certain, or a sling or a crossbow because there's certain feats that go along with that. Now, um, this one does psychic damage. It does 2d8 psychic damage. And if you attack uh, a target that is in dim light or darkness you make the attack roll with advantage. Now, um, let's talk about that a little bit. Uh, the damage itself and the the dim light. So dim light, you really can't create dim light. Um, dim light is in an area that is kind of on the border between a lighted area and a dark area. So if you're in a dark room and you bring a candle in, the candle is going to shed bright light in a certain radius and then in a certain radius after that, before it goes dark, it's going to be dim light. Darkness, there's two different kinds of darkness. There's darkness and then there's magical darkness. So if you have a character who has dark vision, like an, an elf or a dwarf, then this is probably a pretty good spell. You don't need a light source. Um, and um, it doesn't say that the target has to be able to see in darkness. It just says if you attack them while you're in darkness, that you get advantage. So there is that. Um, if you cannot see in darkness and you attack them, you, this is one of these wonky rule things. If you have advantage, you also have disadvantage, so those cancel out. Um, particularly if the thing uh, also can't see. Now, what classes, first off, do I think that this is worth upcasting, um, and wh who do I think should use this? So, because it is usable for sorcerers, warlocks, and wizards, I really don't see sorcerers using it. I really don't. Um, Hexblade warlocks already have their weapon, so it might be okay with that. The only instance I see or the only class build I see using that this is the Bladesinger wizard. And Bladesinger wizards have a tendency to have pretty high decks anyway. So if you have a blade song, blade... Uh, blade singing wizard then eventually you're going to get two attacks at sixth level and you're going to get a bonus to your intelligence so it behooves you to have uh, a high dex as well and then with with that high, you have advantage on dex acrobatics check so with that dex bonus because this is a finesse weapon you're going to be able to use this weapon with with uh with dexterity so there is that with the two attacks it does two this one is a magic weapon it does two eight 2d8 psychic damage very little is is resistant to psychic so and you can upcast this now is it worth a blade singer to upcast this absolutely you only need to upcast it once and it does 3d8 damage which means if you hit twice around that thing's going to be taking 68 damage every single round um and you know there are probably some other um some other classes that you can throw in here to kind of boost that damage uh, even more than that. Now, the other thing that we have to take into consideration is how do we get this roll to advantage in dim light or darkness? Well, I already talked a little bit about just regular darkness, 
But if you cast the darkness spell, that's magical darkness. And there are very, very few things it can see in magical darkness. But the warlock does get this thing called Devil's Sight um, as one of the invocations it can start taking at second level, which allows you to see in both magical and non-magical um, darkness. So there is that. So you could do... A blade singing wizard who has two dips into um, warlock, and I would suggest taking the the devil's sight. Um, you know, and and I mean, I guess there's some other things that you could you know you could get in addition to that. That you know you could look around to see. Um, uh, you could get armor of shadows. That way, you don't have to worry about casting. Um, major armor on yourself ever so you know there is that so uh do i like the spell yes i'm giving it a b because it's so limited um you know a, a straight wizard who casts spells at a distance isn't really ever going to use this spell but a blade singing wizard is going to use this spell and a blade singing wizard who can cast darkness and has a couple of levels of warlock with devils and uh devil sight is definitely going to use it so all right don't forget to hit that subscribe button don't hit that like button if you have any questions or comments put them in the uh the comments below and i will catch everybody later